Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a clothing haul from Our Gothic. I've done quite a few clothing hauls from Our Gothic in the past. I'll link them throughout this video if you guys want to go and check them out. But yes, with Our Gothic, the clue is in the name. There's going to be a lot of Gothic style clothing that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video today. But the Gothic aesthetic isn't really my sort of vibe. I usually go more for kawaii sort of clothing and cutesy style clothing items. So I sort of went for a pastel goth sort of vibe for this video and also I just want to let you guys know that all these items were gifted to me by Our Gothic and also Our Gothic is owned by Rose Gal as well it's sort of like a sub company to Rose Gal but as usual that doesn't change anything about my reviews and my hauls I'm not going to hold back if I don't like something about a clothing item so yeah you can expect 100% honesty from me even if something's been gifted to me so yeah I'm really excited to show you guys what I got from Our Gothic let's get right into today's video Okay, so just before I start talking about this corset, I just want to let you guys know that everything that I got in this haul today, I got in a size 3X. I feel like saying this now just saves me from like bringing it up every single time. So we're starting off this haul with this corset and getting a corset from either Argothic or Rose Gal is something that I've just always been scared to do because I never really knew if these would fit me properly because in my head I thought that corsets were like fixed sturdy material but I was wrong with this particular corset because it has very stretchy fabric and even though I didn't really know this before because I was literally just taking a bit of a risk by getting this I did compare my bust and waist measurements to the ones that are on our gothics website so even if it was a sturdy fabric i feel like it would get around me anyways but it's just an extra bonus that this is stretchy because it makes it more comfortable to wear I wanted to show the process of me actually getting the corset on so you knew what it was like trying to get it around my body shape and yeah it was pretty easy it has this zip that goes all the way down the middle and once you get it connected to the bottom it's pretty easy just to zip up just like that. So now aside from the actual fit of it I absolutely love the pattern of this it's definitely giving me Dracula vibes which is actually the main reason why I bought it because I really want to do an outfit at some point inspired by Dracula from monster high so yeah the pattern in general just reminded me of her and the colors as well although it's a bit of a darker pink than what dracula is but still it's definitely given dracula i also love these ribbons as well they're a very nice touch up and down the corset and i'm just tying them up here because i wanted to show you guys me tying them up as well and i especially love the little detailings on it as well like the little heart on the zip i think that's such a cute touch and the lace detailings around the hem so so cute I love that too. The pattern doesn't continue onto the back. The back is just a plain black colour. I actually wish I tried this on over the top of something lighter than this black bodysuit and leggings because it's a little difficult to see the details and everything. But I really wanted to show you guys me doing the process of actually zipping it up just to show you guys how easy it was and just how stretchy it was because it's super comfortable that like the fabric is stretchy. Like I don't feel restricted in this in any way. I just feel super comfortable and this would very easily get over the top of any other clothing item like it did here it got over the top of my bodysuit just fine it's just like an accessory really so if you're plus size and you've always wanted to try out a corset but like me it sort of held you back a little bit because you always thought that the fabric was going to be fixed and sturdy then definitely check out Argothic because their fabric is stretchy and their corsets are comfortable. I had no idea how else to showcase this dress so I decided to hang it up and just show you guys how it is instead of holding up like I usually do with clothing items before I try them on. Yeah this dress in particular had quite a few detailings on it like the velvet roses and the lace that were difficult to show on camera because of just how the fabric is like it's a velvety sort of fabric so it has like a shine to it and the camera just wasn't picking up on it very well until I adjusted the light in but here we have this burnt orange mermaid tail dress and honestly it is so so gorgeous I, I love how this fits on my body shape the dress really does create the true mermaid effect and I don't think I've ever had that achieved before with a mermaid tail dress and it's just so unique with all of its little details 
talons. I love the rose pattern. The fabric is very luxurious and that pattern on the bottom of the skirt as well. It just adds a really unique vibe to it, especially with the diamond sort of cut out before going into that different pattern. And of course, there's a beautiful lace detailings at the front. Oh, it's just such a gorgeous dress and I love how it fits on me. It's just got a lovely shape to it. There's a couple of things here that I wasn't fond of. I really didn't like the corset at the front. I actually thought that was detachable, but it's not. It's fixed at the front and I just think that's kind of random. But I guess it does add to the uniqueness of the dress. Also, I am standing on the bottom of it here. It is a little bit long on me, but with the right footwear, it'll bring my height up a little bit and it will look a little less long. I also feel like I might have clip baited you a little bit with the thumbnail because I wore a black bodysuit underneath this dress because I just feel like it's super bare on the arms. I feel like if they continued the orange pattern down onto long sleeves, maybe give it a bell sleeve moment, it would have made the dress a 10 out of 10 for me. But yeah, I really had to pair it with that black bodysuit because it just needed something on the arms for me personally. It just looked a bit random. Like such a luxurious looking dress with like bare arms for the summer. It just made no sense to me. But apart from those like two things, this is a super gorgeous dress and I do love the mermaid tail and the pattern is just gorgeous and the colour, yeah, it's a beautiful dress. So we're now moving on to the pastel goth kind of vibes here and we're starting off with this dress with a moon and bats pattern all over it. I absolutely love black and pink together, like such a good colour combination, it's one of my favourites and it also reminds me of Kuromi me like you know the Sanrio character that is her like color combination as well so yeah I think that's what drew me to this dress in the first place and I absolutely love the pattern as well the bats and the moons just a very cutesy but also very gothic and halloweeny sort of style I feel like if you're sort of in between liking wearing cutesy outfits but also like gothic I feel like this is perfect for you because the pink is screaming like girly girl but also the pattern is like, oh, Halloween. You know what I mean? So this is the dress on. It's very comfortable, very stretchy fabric. I found that with a lot of our gothic clothing pieces and rose gal clothing pieces as well, is that their fabric is always stretchy and comfortable, which is very plus size friendly. And this particular dress has an adjustable tie front as well, which I think is really cool, where you can cinch in the bust area, which is what I'm doing right now. And then you can put like a cutesy little bow at the front, which I think adds to just the whole vibe to the dress. It just gives it sort of a cutesy vibe whilst also having that gothic twist. I also think the slight empire waistline works really well with my body shape and it just looks really well put together. I also like how the neckline looks as well. It's got a half hexagonal sort of shape for the neckline which I think is quite unique and works really well. It looks really like flattering on my chest area. I love how flowy the skirt is but I was a little surprised to see how long it is. It does go slightly past my knees. I would prefer it if it was a little less long but I think this is just to do with my height. I'm five foot one and dresses that should be just like a normal length on me just above my knees always come up really long on me. It's just something that happens with a lot of dresses. So I feel like if you're average height or just a little bit taller this will come up a little bit short on you. But I think that's like the only thing that I don't like about this dress. I love everything else about it. I love that it's short sleeved as well. It's a good in-between dress between winter and spring as it gives you a little bit of warmth but also it's got a little bit of arm showing for the spring and going into the summer. I think what really sells this dress for me is the pattern. I just love the pattern and the colours. That's my favourite thing about this dress. This next dress is literally the exact same style as the previous dress that I just showed you. So the fit of this is the exact same. So I'm sorry if it feels like I'm reiterating myself in this part of the review, but this is what happens. They, they do like similar style dresses with different patterns, which I think is really good because that means you have a lot of choice of different design prints and you can sort of fit it within your own style. And this particular design print is actually left over from the Valentine's Day collection, but I just thought it was so cute. And like I said, I'm really into cutesy kawaii sort of styles. And even though this is on Argothic, this is more of a kawaii style sort of dress. So even though they primarily focus on gothic sort of styles, they also offer different styles like this for people who are into kawaii fashion like me. 
but of course it's still giving a gothic sort of vibe because of the ghosty sort of pattern on here which is still giving halloween it's still giving gothic just a little bit even though it has a more cutesy pattern so yeah this particular dress was left over from the halloween collection it's got these little ghosties with little heart balloons all over it i was super drawn to the pattern just because i love valentine's day prints uh, i just i love valentine's day fashion in general so just picking this up from the valentine's day collection is not super screaming valentine's day to me but you can tell is from the Valentine's Day collection but I just love the pattern and just throw Valentine's Day out the window I will just wear this just because not just for Valentine's Day just all of my favorite sort of colors so yeah I am loving this color combination like I said before in terms of fit this one is very similar to the previous dress that I just showed you guys it's got that empire waistline it's stretchy it's got comfortable material and it also has that tie front where you can tie a bow at the front which really just adds to the cuteness of this dress Again, the length is long on me, but it's just my height really that causes that. And just maybe with just a pair of heels or platform boots, it will bring the height of me a little bit up so it doesn't look like it swamps me too much. Again, what sold me with this dress is its pattern and just the colours and the fact that it was from the Valentine's Day collection as well. I cannot turn my back on Valentine's Day prints. So we're moving on to a more summery vibe sort of dress now because these are more strappy than the previous ones with the short sleeves. And this one has a very witchy sort of style print. It's got like a witch's hat on there, tarot cards, crystal ball, and somebody holding a heart, which I think is quite a graphic <laughs> sort of pattern. But it really adds to the gothic sort of vibes if you're really into like gothic patterns then this is perfect for you or witchy patterns again we're sort of going for the pastel goth sort of vibe because of the pink and also the gothic pattern it just sort of sits in between cutesy and gothic again the fabric is very stretchy very comfortable and roomy perfect if you prefer clothing that's a little bit more breathable and in terms of length it's very similar to the last two dresses that i showed you guys it's quite long it goes past my knees which is, again, it's just my height. Five foot one, guys. <laughs> uh, all of these dresses probably would fit anybody who's average height or taller just normally, but they all swamp me. But again, with the bright pair of shoes, with heels or platform boots, bring my height up a little bit more and would look a little bit more put together as an outfit. The great thing about these print dresses is that you can really add lots of different accessories to it to sort of spice up the outfit. Like this is a very strappy dress so it would be perfect for the summer but you can also make it a winter or spring outfit by pairing a cardigan with it, add in tights, maybe even put a belt around the middle. It will just add a little something to the dress. Something that I feel like would make this dress a lot better is having adjustable straps. The straps are in a fixed place so you just don't have any control on how loose or tight they'll fit your shoulders. So you could well be at risk with them falling down every five minutes and they do fall down a little bit often on me but I would personally pair this dress with a cardigan so I feel like that would sort of keep the straps up. Like I said earlier you can take the colours out of the pattern and really just dress this up in any way that you want with like cardigans and tights and stuff. It will just really add something different to the whole outfit. So apart from the usual length issue that I have and the non-adjustable straps, I really do love the pattern of this. It's given very gothic but also I love the colour pink so it sort of adds a cutesy vibe to it and also the fabric is stretchy and comfortable which is always good for me too. We are now onto the last dress of this haul and it is this deer pattern dress. This is actually left over from the Christmas collection which is surprising because this is sort of giving me more of a kawaii style sort of dress. Yeah personally I don't feel like this is strictly Christmas themed which is probably why it's still on sale. I feel like if you're into kawaii fashion or croquet style fashion then you'd love a dress like this because look at those deers with the little bows on their head perfect if you're into those sort of styles. I honestly feel like there's a print, like a design print for everyone on Argothic. It just covers all bases, all different designs and styles. 
I just think you should definitely have a look, especially if you're into print dresses like this. They have something for everyone, I swear. The fit of this dress is very similar to the last dress that I showed you guys, if not exactly the same. It's very strappy, it would be perfect for the summer, but like I said before, you can dress this up and down for the winter and spring, add accessories like tights and bags, and even a cardigan. I definitely would pair a cardigan with this dress just to really add something to the overall look. The fabric is very stretchy and roomy and like I said before if you're somebody who values comfort with your clothes then these are perfect for you because it's just a very breathable fabric. Again no adjustable straps and that is such a shame because I really do think that would be a great addition to the dress just to be able to adjust the tightness of the straps to however you would like. I just feel like it would be a good addition because if you're like me, straps like these just fall down my round shoulders. They just never stay up properly. But like I said, I'd wear a cardigan with this just to keep the straps up. But overall, I love how cutesy the pattern is. It definitely fits in with my personal style. I'm a really big fan of the pattern and the colours. So that's everything that I've got to review for you guys from Argothic today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up because it really does help out my YouTube channel. And if you're interested in plus size fashion or makeup, then remember to subscribe to my channel because that is everything that I do here. And if you like look up anything that I reviewed from Argothic in today's haul, I'll link everything in the description box below for you guys. And if you want to grab yourself 20% off your next order, remember to use my code. It'll be on the screen for you guys right now. Go ahead and use that to get a discount off your next order with Argothic. And if you want to check out my other social medias, including TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat, there'll be a link to my link tree in the description box below for you guys as well if you want to check out any of those. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!